Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. And learn everything about Excel. All right, today uh, I saw a user who had posted this graphic and said, I've got data similar to this and I can create two lines, but what I really want to do is I want to have a color on below the green line. I want to have a different color between the green and blue line. And finally, I want to have a fine, another color above the blue line. How do I go about doing it? So created some sample data, and uh, uh, your final look will end up looking somewhat like this. And as you can see, it's going to be a stacked area chart. Uh, but the user was not sure how to go about creating this chart with their base data. So let me show you how we go about doing that. First, we have our data here. Now, um, we've got uh, the sunset value, and we have uh, the sunset off value. And uh, what we want to do is the sunset off, this is going to be our lower part of the stacked area chart. Now the sunset, we're going to use this as a calculation, but we will not have uh, this final value here in the, cal in the uh, chart itself. What we want to do is we want to create the difference of sunset to sunset off. And uh, how we do that is we just simply do our equal sign. We're going to take the larger value, which is sunset, and we're going to subtract the sunset off value. Hit enter and you can see we've got a really small number. I'm going to go ahead and copy that all the way down our whole series. And uh, you can see in this case it was an exact uh, time difference. It looks like about 20 minutes between e the sunset and sunset off. Now <clears throat> what we also need to do is we need to create the very top part of the chart. So we have the first part, the blue, which is the first value in the left column. We now have this difference which gets us up to the top of the green area. But now we need to calculate the purple part of it. So to do that, we're going to have some maximum uh, number. Um, and let's just go ahead and put that value over here. And it was 7.55 PM in our example. And so I just typed in 7.55 with a space and then PM. And you can see Excel created a time format for that. So it recognizes that as time. And uh, we want to do another uh, subtraction here as well. So we want to do equals. I'm going to click on F1 and then hit my F4 key to make that an absolute reference. Then I want to subtract the sunset. And so this will give us our differential um, of uh, from the sunset all the way up to the maximum of 7.55 p.m. If I copy that all the way down, you can see it kind of cascades down and uh, gets smaller as you go along to the right. We now have all of our data set up and we can just go ahead and create our chart. So to do that, let's highlight from A1 all the way down to E31. We're going to go up to our Insert ribbon. We're going to go into our Charts group. And then right there in our Charts group is an Area Chart. And we, want to, we don't want to do a regular Area Chart. We want to do a stacked Area Chart. And let's uh, copy this over so that you can see it a little better on the screen. Now, um, you'll notice it doesn't quite look like our final example. We've got this real skinny green line. And that's because, remember, we were not going to include the red sunset. Um, so we have our first area. We're doing a subtraction to get our green line to the top of this red sunset area. So I'm just going to highlight the red area, which is equal to that sunset column, and hit my delete key. Now you can see we've got our final chart looking just like we want it. Um, we've got the lower part down here, which is sunset off. The green area is our differential to get us to the top of the sunset. And then finally, we are calculating a maximum of 7.55 p.m. in order to get the top of our chart uh, so that we know when it ultimately ended for everything. The only last thing I might do is uh, either create a chart title or delete it. Um, and then uh, I'd probably go in here and clean up some of my uh, legends or just go ahead and, and remove that as well. It just uh, depends. Uh, in this case, I would end up clicking on the legend, click on maximum and hit delete. And then you'll notice this differential to sunset and sunset off. That is coming right from our chart. And I do want to show where the sunset is. Um, and you know what? Maybe I even want maximum. And I need to just change my labels over here. So like I would call this sunset. And for maximum, uh, I might call that uh, uh, sun gone. Not sure what the top maximum was for. Maybe it's uh, midnight or something else. Uh, maybe it's. Uh, Dawn. Let's put that in there. Um, and then our uh, different col colors will be correct in our legend of our chart. So 
hopefully that helped you uh, think about how you might create stacked area charts. Uh, remember, we are creating some differentials to get the next stacked area up to the point that we wanted to be displayed in our chart. Once again, this is Steve Equals True at Excel-BoardTemplates.com. There's other great posts, tutorials, and techniques out there on the website, so head on over there. And also, consider subscribing as a video user so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox.